introductions that you can ask uh, people on the ballot, I guess, in that order to come up and just take a few minutes to describe why you're running and, and who you are, and then uh, uh, that's it. So I think our first is uh, Joe. Good evening. Uh, my name's Jody Fowler. Uh, I've lived in the neighborhood for the last 15 years. I have two kids, age 9 and 13, who've lived in the neighborhood all their lives. Um, and uh, really, it's a great place to live, and it's a great place still to raise kids. And um, I've been to several of these meetings, and I actually see the great job that people, that uh, everyone sitting here does. Uh, making sure that we all have the information that uh, is kind of hard to pick up here and there uh, on our own and uh, make the some tough decisions uh, as uh, projects are brought. And you know, I haven't been here. I, I do feel that I want to serve. I want to give a little back and uh, give a little bit of my time. and. Uh, always with everybody to do what I think is best for the neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next up is, uh, thank you very much, Joey. Next up is Pat Bova. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Bova. Um, my family has lived in the neighborhood for 90 years. They've still been there. They own the bakery on the corner of Salem. I have very high motivations and aspirations to be in public service of some sort. I have uh, lived in Michigan for uh, a few years, five, seven years, and did a bunch of volunteer work there where I really enjoyed myself and enjoyed helping the community. Um, I have an overwhelming urge to make sure that the community, my three generations of my family have lived in, could I get somehow help or give back. I am a very nervous public speaker, as you can tell. <laughs> You're doing great. But at, at the very least, it's something I overwhelmingly am motivated to do, in which just about to make sure to do anything I can for the community, especially this particular community. When I was in Michigan, I had the thoughts of running public service and doing things there, but. I didn't feel comfortable doing it in a place I haven't lived or been familiar with for so long. On the other hand, my family's been here since 1927. I used to make cookies with my grandma Pommy at the bakery when I was a kid, so I feel a lot more familiar and a lot more uh, able to relate to this area than I felt anywhere else. That's me in a nutshell. I um, also wanted to mention I might look very young, I'm 34, so I don't want everyone to be like, that's 20 year old, no way. <laughs> I um, grew a, a good bit of uh, wisdom, character, and character when I was in Michigan, so hopefully I can relay that to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like some guy by the name of John Pregman wants to write. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. So my name is John Pregman. Uh, I don't have that. 1927 uh, lineage in the neighborhood, but I have been here for about 10 years. Uh, I, I think it's important uh, to always give back to the community. I'm actually from a town that has a large uh, population of Italian Americans as well, like one county in Pennsylvania. Uh, so this is this is something I'm always familiar with and comfortable with. So it's it's great to be in this neighborhood, um, and I try to give back not only on the council. I've been on the council the last six years, serving as president for the past two. Prior to that, um, vice president, secretary on the Greenway board as well. Uh, but I also try to give back in, in ways of uh, San Agrippina Society. Sorry, Michael, I hope that I still get your vote. <laughs> but, uh, and, uh, and I've been coaching baseball for a number of years. Uh, some folks in here, their, their kids or grandkids uh, and basketball the last couple as well. So it's this is just, I think, another thing that I'm honored to be on and love to be a part of as uh, just someone that can hopefully give a, their time to the neighborhood and uh, help where, where needed. And, and, I think we have a good group, and I'd like to join it for another two terms. So I would uh, appreciate your vote and support uh, for ballot number three this Saturday. So thank you. Brett Roman. Hello, my name is Brett Roman. 
Gentlemen, um, I've served with, this is my first term on the council of running for re-election. Uh, before running for election, my previous term, I uh, served as the intern for the council, taking meeting minutes and pretty much long secretary work for the, the, uh, the neighborhood council for two years prior to that. Uh, I got involved and wanted to be the intern and help out with the neighborhood council originally when I moved here. Uh, for school, to go to school, I lived in the neighborhood and um, at Suffolk, which is a terrible thing to say, you can't say that around here too often, but um, I feel like it's getting better, but um, I wanted to kill that bad stereotype and I really wanted to, of the college kids and all the bad rap they had in the neighborhood, I really wanted to give back to the neighborhood, um, kind of be that like olive branch between the university, now as a young professional, that, that um, demographic, I wanted to sit there and be represented those students and those young professionals coming in and moving into the neighborhood that actually care and show that there is this young professional, these students that do care about the neighborhood, that they're not all out here to just live up for four years and just cause chaos. Um, so I actually coached with uh, Dan Toscano, uh, the North End Youth Hockey Program in the winters, Saturday mornings, coach the little kids, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Something else. Something else. Last but not least, Marie Sibold. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Marie Sibold. Everybody seems to say that they had to, but I had to write it down. So I just want to say this. Why do I want to be re-elected to the North End Waterfront and Court Council? I was born and raised in the North End. I have over 60 years of experience in history. I fought for the North End nursing home to stay open. I attend the North End Waterfront Resident Association meetings and safety meetings. I'm a member of St. Louis Society for over 20 years. Being on the North End Waterfront Neighborhood Council is a commitment to the elderly, to the lifelong residents, and to the quality of life. I have been on this council for close to 20 years. I would like to continue to be involved with the Neighborhood Council, and would y'all hope that would be possible. I hope all residents will get out and vote, not just for me, but for other candidates running for this election. Remember, your vote counts. I thank everyone for taking all the time for being here tonight.